going on y'all corporate like entertainment uh, today's segment is on the second half of the NBA season I'm Phil Roberts your host I'm Paul I'm Manny so yeah second half of the NBA season what y'all what y'all thoughts on it what you think Manny um I really do like the playoff uh like the push this year mm -hmm. it's gonna be interesting because you know you got the Lakers yeah. <laughs> So they strut. They've been having a very rocky season right now, <laughs> say the least. Uh, Lonzo should be coming back. LeBron seemed like he getting healthy, so they just that's got gonna a, be interesting to see. Uh, they just got Hart and Chandler back too. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the day I got that notification. So they getting sure. help. They getting healthy, so now we can be able to see like where they gonna land at. What type of run is they gonna make? The what type of season is they gonna make? I didn't know Hart was injured to today though. For real, yeah, for real. Yeah. I think uh, just the second half of the, the NBA season, period, I think this is where people actually start playing for real. The first half, guys are trying to get in their groove and not get injured. The second half, you got the teams coming together and trying to get they so playoff ready. So you're going to see a lot more you know, close-knit games and hopefully you see a lot more competition and stuff like that. See, I, that's a good point. The whole first half, no one cares. Like, right. You should be playing hard so you can fight for that. You guaranteed your spot. It, it yeah, like exactly. It's, Thank you, man. It seemed like the NBA now, the first half of the season, players is playing for the All-Star game. Let's, let's see like if I can that. make it to be an All-Star. You know, you get a sentence for that, too. Yeah, they get paid. They get a nice I, little, I, little I bonus. Like, uh, I feel like those state players get the home court advantage. Of course. I mean, but, but that's one of the rare things. It's only yeah, a couple yeah, teams yeah. that's doing that, you though. See, you don't see guys that have been to the finals four years in a row. It's only a couple teams playing yeah, like that, so. though. It's about half, less than half of the teams and then, in the league uh, that play like that. They gonna be very inter man, They ain't even gonna be interesting. It's pretty predictable, but yeah, man. Money's supposed to be getting res minutes restrictions yeah. lifted. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> that's gonna be dangerous. <sighs> Cause they they look good so. I mean. And he, was, crazy, he was playing man. like 20 minutes a game. That's going to be dangerous. So they that as, as of this season. And that's going to be, that's gonna be bad for Draymond, I, in my opinion. No, it's I think. not. It's going to be bad for the league. Draymond game is he can play with anybody. Yeah, yeah that's true. But his role going to be a little bit I diminished. Think, minutes, I don't think minimized. he cares. I don't think he cares. I don't think, yeah, I don't think, I don't think nobody on that team cares because they winning. Like, I think the, the second that they that stop kinda, winning, that's when you're going to see the, per the only person that kind of cares is Clay. I think I was going to say that Clay. Clay on his way out of there. Yeah. Mark my so. words, man. Where do you think he's going to go? LA. That's LeBron? where he needs yep. to go. Like, that would be a good fit. I feel, fit, like, but that'd be, I'd, I feel <laughs> like that'd be a great fit for uh, both both the guys. Yeah, yeah, I do too. I do too. And he could be the star for the Lakers after LeBron leaves. Cause I, I, in my opinion, he's strong enough to carry a team. I don't know, man. I, I can see that though. I can see that. I so I can't can really argue with you. You know what I mean? I can see. And that. he's underrated as a two-way player. You yeah, gotta, he really, you gotta he see. Really is. Like you gotta realize he checks all of the the best players on the other team. They always put clay on them. Like yeah. So, so like, what do y'all think about the Milwaukee Bucks? Cause they got off to a tear. I've been saying for the longest you think that they can maintain. That's the thing. I think they can make. <clears throat> they can maintain. I think they're gonna be in the uh, East Finals. I, got, I think I got they might. They got finals. a good chance of coming out of the East. Cause look at look at their look at look, look at their team. It's it's not like crazy superstar. You got Greek. You got um, Bledsoe. Bledsoe. Meritech, Meritoc or whatever his name is. Brooke Lopez. Middleton. Middleton. Yeah. Like they you, they had you. Over, they, they have they got Lopez too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they have like, and those are all uh, good pretty, players. They're pretty overall balanced, though. Like, I've been saying, and it meshes well. I, I in my mean? opinion, so uh, Giannis is gonna be probably the best player in the league if he develops his jump shot and keeps keeps so. working hard. I think so. I think so. I think mm. Kevin, Kevin Durant gonna be one of them guys. I, I'm that's saying be the best after until he leaves. after that era. Don't after that, know. okay, I can see that. He, like you said, that in the next shot, few, few years, we're gonna defense a little bit. You agree? I think it's a little. With, with him, he, defense, I don't believe is going to be much of a problem because of his athleticism and the way he LeBron, built. Though. His arms, he got like a... But look at LeBron's man. athleticism. His defense is okay. That's because LeBron be, chooses not to play defense. LeBron chooses not to play defense. Yeah. But I think but 
They but and they everybody says it. Everybody around the league, all the all the you know scouts and all that, they say that dude work ethic is like kind of unmatched. Yeah. Like you could just look at his progress and his workouts from his first year to now. Yeah. Like the yeah. dude is got animal, right? Yeah, yeah. LeBron every year try to invite him to like work out and practice with him, and he declines. LeBron he worked with Kobe, don't he? Yeah. See what so I'm saying? Everybody that works out with Kobe, they game improves. Yeah. So what do everybody, you all think? What, okay, East West. Who do you who do you got coming? Who do who do you got in the Western Conference Finals, and who do you got in the oh, Eastern Conference? Oh, I got Golden State. It's uh, gonna be talking about Western Conference oh, finals. finals. Um, I got Golden State and Nuggets. I agree with that. I got Golden because Nuggets is one of them teams that remind me of the Bucks. Nah, no, nah, I, I, you said Nuggets. I disagree. I'm sorry. It remind me of the Bucks. I got, gold. I got, I got gold. Golden State and OKC. Paul George is having. One of them years. Yeah, he is. He is. And and, and it's, it's well. working. It's Jelly working well. because him and <clears throat> Westbrook is they starting yeah. to click like crazy. Yeah, that's true. And then getting shout Schroeder out, back. Shout out the young Brody. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then them getting Schroeder back helps out a lot, mm -hmm. a ton, because that they can do different matchups at that point. Like you could take. Brody off ball sometimes, which they probably never will. Get. That's the shout, shout yeah. out to Brody. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Two for forty. <laughs> hey, he's still on thirty points. He'll get you that triple double though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah get you that triple double. Yeah. See, yeah. Shout, sure. Hey, shout out to Russ. Right. <laughs> okay. Hey, why not, man? <laughs> okay, East. Uh, yeah. I think the Celt. In my opinion, I'm. It's hard to rule out the Celtics, even though they're having their little troubles now, but all teams go through things like this. Yeah. Their problem is they have a, they actually have a great problem, which is they got a lot of talent and just haven't figured out the right chemistry Probably, with yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. That's a great problem to have is to have too much talent, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. I think somewhere along the, the line, and, and people forget they got one of the best coaches in the league, too. Yeah. Brad Stevens. I think somewhere along this line they're gonna get it together. Not say, I, 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 I don't know. I, I got them at least making it to them Eastern Conference Finals, and they got a little bit more experience than any of the other teams in the East playoff wise. I don't think more than the Raptors though. Well, you gotta look. The Raptors ain't the same Raptors yeah, they were last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my that's my team to come out of the East. I can't count them out because they got Cause Kawhi they, Leonard. All they needed to do was upgrade. And uh, you forget a lot Mark of the Rosen. Right. A lot didn't of they, didn't get somebody else the Raptors recently in a Oh, they got Mark Vassal. Mark Vassal. Yeah. That that I think that might have been the push to I, I don't get think them so. There. I think without that push they would have got there. Really? Yeah, you had Valachilis, Serge, it's, you had Kawhi, you had Danny Green, and then you had <laughs> you, then you had uh Kyle Lowry. And then you like had the, uh, the young boy, the uh, African kid. Yeah, yeah. Patrick uh, Van, or something. Van Fleet, he like a top seven um, six man of the year. Yeah. What do you think about the 76ers chances? 76ers, I just don't think they... The chemistry ain't there chemistry yet. Chemistry not going to be there. ain't there yet. It's I don't know if it's the chemistry. I would say, I would I say more what it is. so. I would say more. I would give it to Boston and Toronto. To For me, it. it's a toss-up between three teams. The Celtics, the Raptors, and the Bucks. I can't count the See, Bucks out. Man. I got Bucks, Raptors, and Sixers. But again, brings me to my point. I'm taking the Sixers off now. Celtics because the Sixers, the game, the chemistry. I don't know. Man. Next year, the Sixers, you can throw them in the equation. That's but okay. if, stick they together. Were, if they was to go, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because yeah, they they literally got all the pieces Absolutely. for a great team. I and, got Bucks and Raptors. And in my opinion, Jimmy Butler has to – he always do the talking about wanting to win. No, but it's, you got to show it. Like, did, show me man. something, man. I think, he, like, I think it's his fucking attitude. That's what I think. It's, it's a lot of that ego stuff. No, it's, it's, about, it's about the mentality. He about business. He's not about none of that mm, other, like other that. stuff that comes with it. I kind of disagree. He want to win, but – he want to win his way, meaning he want to win and be the too. man. Yeah, that, that's I, I, I don't, I don't. Because if that's the I case, then he want he wouldn't be happy. He would be like he'd be real happy where he at, and it don't seem like he's that happy. He here. was happy with Minnesota, but the young boys. Yeah, he was happy with Minnesota was because he was the man. Dog. No, it was not. Yes, I agree with both sides though. He was with Tom Thibodeau again, which the coach that he loved. Yeah. He seen the he seen they both got the same vision. Yeah. Them young boys on them hundred million dollar contracts. 
don't care about Wiggins. Yeah. Game. Wiggins, True. Wiggins don't care about winning. Wiggins Car just want to shine. Towns, Car Anthony shit. Towns is, is Jello pudding soft. Like Facts. I don't know. That don't okay, make... and that's the core of your fucking team. <laughs> 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 hey, that's the foundation. Huh? That's that's that. That's, if, if that's cracked, then with if your foundation cracked. What's gonna happen yeah. to your house? But you gotta look at him. He kind of in the same situation. He with no, but he with some is, young dudes that already think that they the best in the league and stuff like that. Like it was a better crop crop of talent though. <laughs> yeah, but that. but you you still going back to them same the same hundred million dollar young dudes. Yeah, and plus he went to he got an assistant. Right, in Harris a now, like he can't think he's the man. Not saying you know he, what I don't mean. I think he has that mentality, man. I kind of, I, I kind of do, man. I agree, like, I agree with both though, business and that mentality. I agree with both. And then the the way the league do shit kind of don't make it no better. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the way these they do kind of dog these players, but at the same time, these players are getting a little bit too much power, too. Like, at the end of the day, man, the NBA is. A job like fucking go to work, put your work in, get your money, and get the fuck on. Like go home and, and yeah, go to like the club. they be complaining about petty ass shit. Like come on, man, you getting hundreds of millions of dollars to it play a sport. It, it, ain't, it ain't about all of that for for the player, every player though. Yeah, every player. I mean, some players want to win, man. It's still players still like where in the NBA. How man, many of them? Like that. You can count on one hand how many players. But like in the that. midst of it, why the fuck not get paid for it? No, yeah, I agree. I agree. Way get your money for sure. So but like, but a guy like Andrew Wiggins got all the talent in the world. And Andrew Wiggins is just one of them young boys that just want to get that get that check. Yeah. And want to go splurge <clears> out and, and just not maximize his talent. Right. Man, he got a big lazy ass. Guy, <laughs> Michael Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, but Big wanted to touch cushion. on two more things real briefly before yeah. we go into the next one. I wanted to talk about what was some of the teams that you see uh, as potential sleepers to do a lot of upsetting in the playoffs. Um, for me, the East. Shit, so I like the, the Heat. First. I like the Heat. I like the Indiana Pacers, even with, without Victor Oladipo. Oh, you talking about like, oh, that's already like in the playoffs? Like teams that people's count on. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I like the Pacers. Then. Oh, yeah, definitely Pacers. Pacers. Yeah, I, I got Pacers. Also can throw in probably like a Detroit Pistons. Or that's That was going to be mine, but. I like that combination of Drummond and Blake. I just think they need I, a better backcourt. I, I think, yeah, I, I that was going to be my pick. And then on the, on the West, I, I don't know, man. I want to. My heart telling me to go with like the Trailblazers, but yeah, like they added Stephen Adams. That's a you know who Steven I, Adams you know, you, know who, you know who I like uh, to <laughs> sneak into the playoffs. The Sacramento Kings, though. I do too. They balling right now. I, I do would, too. but <laughs> I do too. That, but we, I don't know, man. Do you think the Kings are gonna? I, I have the Clippers falling out of the playoffs. That might lead. I might. And that's gonna open it up for the Lakers, in my opinion. But the Lakers they, got teams on their trail that they got can the take fourth part of schedule in the league. They Sacramento, like Timberwolves. They, Sacramento, Sacramento they, they are actually ahead of the Lakers, yes, and then yeah. the Timberwolves is right on. And the, like another year or two, Sacramento gonna be a playoff bound team every year. The Timberwolves might. I don't care for De'Aaron Fox. My fault. Go ahead. Like, I don't either. I don't care for him. Ooh. I, don't care for him. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a fan yet. <laughs> I ain't he got to terrorize you. He got to terrorize you on defense, and then he overall yeah. on the offense. Man, end. back to, I had to keep talking about Westbrook, but the, he had to shut that young dude up because he started to overthrow. I heard about that shit. Yeah. yeah. So why 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 wouldn't you try to go at the? <laughs> yeah, you Brody go at <laughs> Hey, Brody can get it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout shout out to Russ <laughs> again, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he balling, man. <laughs> MVP or not MVP? Well, MVP caliber and averaging a triple double for yeah. the third consecutive year in a row. It's unheard of. Will get very angry, right? right <laughs> but anyway, what's this a pick? Go ahead. Speaking, yeah. of, speaking, speaking of, of yeah, that yeah, MVP. Yeah, speaking of the MVP. So, what is the top candidate y'all got for the MVP? Unfortunately, go ahead, motherfucker. No, go ahead. you got go ahead. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, I had to put Russell Westbrook in there. Okay. Um, he's not one. He's, in my, he's dead ass last, third. <laughs> um, but 
Is so it in between? Do you, do, you I got, think, do you got a top five? Top I got a top four, three. three. I give you Hart, George Carter, and Westbrook. I ain't gonna lie, my. I want to throw Anthony Davis in there too. My top three is probably the, that same order. I don't. I, in my opinion, they love Harden. Yeah. So you know he probably gonna get it, and he's playing for that award. I think it's clearly right. he's playing for that award. Yeah. But if we talking, if we talking, if we talking teams, like you know what I'm saying, if we talking. You I don't know. Paul Giannis, George is playing. In, the top, in, the, in the discussion, they got the. If we don't I want five, to, I want to, man. They got the best, best record, record in the in the East. Let me scratch that. Let me let me do this. I'm taking Westbrook out of there because I just know they're yeah. gonna give it to give Westbrook me, and putting Giannis. In give the, me in the top George two. Harden and Greek. No, George Greek and Harden, and I'm being biased with Harden because I feel like what he's doing now, it's not efficient. At all. Yeah, but you got to also take into the account of his team and pretty decimated with injuries this year. And so what happened when they come back? That's excuse every year, though. No. The thing is, everybody counted them, wrote them off early. That's true. That is you true. Can't say, you can't That's say it. That's very true. That's what true. did James do? But they, they was healthy, though, in the beginning. They was only healthy for a, a, right. ten like, games? a couple like, weeks. Yeah, two yeah. weeks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like... Oh shit! Here we go with this championship contender team. Then Chris Paul get hurts again, and then we had a couple of other injuries. I'll take that in consideration. Harden Har yeah. is the is. guy. The guy, but look, I know it's a a stat pad lead, but he's actually he actually needs to do that. So I feel like when you need to do that, yeah. and you doing it on a consistent basis, far as getting thirty one. Straight yeah. thirty point games in a row. Yeah. The only person that ever is uh Will Chamberlain. He he's he in second place right now. Yeah. So it's like it's, I, I, that's that's yeah, better, that's it, better, yeah, than, yeah. Ter, that's better me, than the Terry Kobe was on when he me, was on his his But see me street. me yeah. personally me personally though, like Yes, that is a That's crazy record to beat. Man. That is impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're in a different league. We're putting up Absolutely points. Too. Is, it's it happens way more. 146. I easy. I I I easy. I, I completely I don't disagree with you, but you have to understand that this guy has been getting game plans drawn up for him. Yeah. Double team, triple team, and he's still pulling out 30 point games. Who getting double team and triple team? James Harden. Where? He gets double and triple team. The dude just... I, don't I ain't seen a lot of double teams in the NBA I, I, in I a watched, long I time, bro. I watched them quite a bit. He is on a... On, and he's you, on fire so Then on top bad. of that, you can't breathe on him either. He's one of them guys in the league. Yeah, he can't cough his way. He gets to the whole a uh, lot. Uh, so... But, th listen, that's not to take away... You know, nothing to do. I mean, 30, 30 was straight 30 point game. Yeah, Come the on. dude is bothered. It. But it's it's a different, and, and it's just me, my thoughts on him is he's no a, defense. He's, that, yeah. and he just, he's a regular season baller. Mm. I say that yes. because the regular the season, history. you'll be like, man, this guy is just no, yeah. like, how can he lose? And then you get to the playoffs, and they'll be like, where, where well, is James Harden? It's going to be, they team going to be very interesting. Uh, it is. Because, I mean, you got Kenneth Fareed that, I don't know, he been resurrected. I don't know. Where yeah, I don't know what's up with him. Man, I know where he was. I just, I'll follow him. But I thought he, I don't know what happened playing. to him. He just, like, disappeared for us. Got a better reason why he wasn't playing. All the, like, you know I what I'm saying? He, I think James Harden is the number one. He's going to be number one at the MVP right now. He's going to George again. And I got Paul George it's right behind him. so great, I put, man. I put Giannis, Paul George I put Giannis, game. I put Giannis second. Yeah, because based off how, you know, the, the league does the MVP yeah. rankings, they tie your team into it and everything, too. So he going, he might get, he and then second Giannis place. playing with no other all No other All-Stars. Mm, That's man, very true. Middleton was an All-Star. That's because of the record. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. You got to get, get yeah. But uh, I got him number two. I got Paul George number three. Paul George's game is so fucking I love smooth. Him, one of my favorite players. And he put, he actually playing a little yeah, D this uh, year too. Yeah, yeah. So. he always played D to me. Always. He, it just sometimes I he was I keep it a lot better this year. Yeah. He yeah. come up. He come up. He came up very small in the playoffs last year. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty yeah. He barely had ten points. Yeah. yeah. The closeout game. So he got a. a, a I, I, I ain't got my faith in him until I see him. <laughs> right. He got to prove it. So you got to show like Harden. 
I don't know, but that pretty much run. Oh yeah, one more, one more. Steph Curry has to go in the top five. Yeah. Right now. Steph Curry is on a tear. Right uh oh, now. <laughs> pressing some nerves, this bitch. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. No comment. <laughs> he has to. He has to. Like man. it's like bro, this guy. He just won't leave, man. Dang, uh -huh. And they got the sure, best record in the funny. NBA again. After all the suspense, after all the controversy earlier, yeah, all the yeah. suspensions, the constant injuries, Boogie, well, it don't really matter about Boogie being hurt. Because they would still be able to have a top <laughs> two or three right. record without him or not. So, But I, I definitely got to throw Steph Curry in there. I would have threw Kawhi Leonard in there, but he been, he, he been on minutes restrictions. Yeah, and a lot of rest. And he don't play back-to-back -back games. Yeah, so. Right. Plus he has <laughs> so with so um just to wrap that up, I also wanted to go into the coach of the year. So who who do y'all have as coach of the year candidates? Got the Bucks coach. Okay. Boo the hoser. Mm-hmm. Definitely. You gotta put Steve Kurt in there. He's I'm always in there. That's yeah, he's always in there, but uh, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta throw Mike D'Antoni. I can't stand Mike D'Antoni. I don't think but uh, I, I think my way, I think the way he drew up I think the way he drew up to get hard and, uh off like that on the offensive end. That ain't hard to do. Uh, you think it's D'Antoni doing it? That's yeah. not that's not hard to do. No, it's in his system, he makes it. He makes it very easy. It's not his. It ain't complicated. It's not hard to do. You got a great talent like that. That's just like Everybody the Steve, the Steve the Nash high school when he was with right. Steve Sons. I get that. Yeah, but I, I don't. I hate that offense. Yeah. It's hard though. I hate that fucking offense, but I mean, it's working for him. It's been working for him, man. It's working for him. You gotta also throw the Nuggets coach in there too. Yeah. Yeah. You got them playing. playing I love that team for real. No good Joe Kick or whatever what the nigga name is. Um yeah. Joe Kick, I love him. Yeah. He's he's all around good to right. me. All around. Right. Like I don't think he has a flaw. He's slow, but yeah, that's about it. It's everything else. Athletic wise, he's, that's that's his flaw. Yeah. But. Uh okay, Billy Donovan. You got to put yeah, Billy Donovan. I agree. I agree. I, I, I was I was crucifying him when he first came. <laughs> Man. You gotta throw Typical, him in there. I like college dude, don't know what the hell he's doing. Drawing up these crazy plays. Uh, I also have to throw the Indiana coach in there. I yeah, because how, I don't know how they doing it without Victor Oladipo. Right. Right. Yeah, that team is well balanced. Like yeah. I, it might, again, it might be like the Bucks team. It's just a well balanced. Dude, it's man. well balanced without no like major stars though. That's that's what's crazy. And they still like, they I like I like Sabonis. I love him. him they number and, three. Um, uh, Turner, Miles Turner. Turner I like Miles Turner. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. People don't like him though. He I never. He, no one really brings him up. That young kid Sabonis, hustle. You think Sabonis is coming off the bench? Right. That kid hustle is yeah. crazy, and like he get he improve a little each year, man. Um. So who do y'all have as the number one right now? Mm. Bucks coach. Okay. Yeah, I can't really disagree with that. Bucks coach, because they're playing. They're playing I, fucking phenomenal. I, I, I ridicule. I ridicule. I gotta give it to him because I ridiculed them for firing Jason. Uh, Jason Kidd. I thought that it was too. too early. Yeah. He didn't get a fair shake. Uh, the talent around him. He was trying to develop him at mm. first. He came up with the idea of putting Giannis at the point. Yeah. I yeah, I think he had. He, Jason Kidd had too much going on outside of basketball and stuff yeah. too. My number one pick, I, I as much as I do not want to say this, I got to give it to Steve Kerr because of all the controversy, all the BS going yeah, on. Like second and the for them to, him to hold that team, to, be the fifth you got some of the best players in the league and he's maintaining all them egos and keeping mm, them together. I like that. And they you still got, got the number got one. All right, so yeah, we was wrapping up the uh, coach of the year. Uh, we all you you had Kurt. That actually you made some very great points on that. Yeah, we both had Buda but, Hoser from yeah. uh, the Bucks. And now I'm holding Atlanta thing. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, that was yeah. I, I just thought about that. And uh, last but not least, I want to go into the coach of the, or not. I'm sorry, six man of the year. Yeah, so who you all got? I have Derrick Rose. Uh, I mean, the guy averaging 18 points a game. Yeah, and also coming off this. He been grinding like he didn't been yeah, he didn't, yeah. he didn't have one of the most craziest careers I've right, ever to seen. Be, to be and to actually still have the mental pro like toughness to still like 
you know, grind through it and still continue to want to play basketball because when he played for us, he had to take a leave of absence. Right. Yeah, they said yeah, yeah, yeah. they said that his confidence was shot. Was shot. Oh, that's what that was the reason? Yeah, 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 I didn't know that. There was a lot of reports saying that, you know, he would go out there and try to go hard and practice and he couldn't do it to the extent that he wanted to do it and he was getting depressed. Right. So he needed mm. to take a leave of absence and talk with the family and stuff like that. Because he thought about he contemplated about retiring. Retiring, yeah. And just just his career in a nutshell, like he went from being one of the, the MVP. elites, the MVP of the league, and now we sitting there discussing possibly being the sixth man that's of the a, year. That's a step that's, stone. That is. Everybody thought his career was over. Really. Yes, right. All the multiple knee injuries, yeah. one, like heart waves. That first one, that was it. That was it. You know what I mean? That, so, none of those people came back. No, and it was in the six man yeah. right. conversation. So you got to Grant Hill. Man. Grant Hill was in that conversation. A little bit, but he wasn't the same Grant Hill, though. He wasn't. Of course nah. not. So, what? Uh, who do you, like, what, who do you so got? The dude from the Pacers, Sabonis. Okay. Him or, um, I, I want to say Kelly Oubre Jr. He was playing for the Wizards. He got traded to... Where is he at? Uh, uh, Memphis? I can't believe really so, but that, that... Is he a six-man? Uh, nah. Can he start sometime, don't he? No, nah, but Phil, you're wrong on that. You <laughs> you think I, can't, so? I can't put him... Not uh, the game having that grand of the year. I have to throw the guy from uh, Toronto, Van Fleet. He been balling. Schroeder. That's my pick, Schroeder. Yeah, I like Schroeder. Schroeder uh, it's, it's cool that he got back to the to OKC, and I think he kind of like the perfect he backup. Needed, he needed that. He needed that play that role of yeah, the backup. The backup. Yeah. He not a he's, starter. He's not a, in my opinion, he not. Schroeder. He the, he the perfect think he's a starter. Yeah. No, I think so. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm team. saying, listen, he can start. Team. He can start, but he, in today's league, he ain't nowhere near none of these starting point guards yeah, yeah. caliber. So it's kind of it's better for him to. You rather have him with Reggie Jackson? Him. him. Reggie Jackson start right. Yeah. Yeah, but but it's different. Where, what is they doing? Listen, with Reggie Jackson. Yeah. And look, OKC so, had Reggie Jackson. Do, what do you think they'll do with? Uh, what do you think they'll do with Schroeder? I think oh. they'll do better with Schroeder. OKC had Reggie well, uh, Jackson. Pistons? Pistons. Hell yeah, I agree. Okay. Y'all yeah, forget, this is a question. Agree, forget OKC had Reggie Jackson in the same role and he didn't oh, prevail. Oh, yeah. He didn't prevail. That's why. So that's like, he they started were arguing, wasn't it, him and Westport? I think it was something like that. He was starting to show some promise, but it just didn't work out. I think in this situation, he's like the perfect. You know how in football you had your change of yeah. pace running backs? He's like the mm, perfect change of pace. I like that. Point guard, because you got Westbrook, who is 150% going downhill every play. You got Schroeder coming in. That's It's a little bit different. That's a different look at the point okay. guard position. So I think if he continues to play good or if he plays any better, you got to put him into consideration. All right. Yeah, so that, that pretty much wraps up everything. Well, yeah. I got one more thing. Who do y'all have as y'all NBA champions? We mm. never, never go over that. Just go over it briefly. I got a oh, oh, uh, Golden State is it's just <laughs> right. it's just it's, ridiculous. I didn't want to say, man. I they like that. They I want real, I want the Bucks to win, but they got they you got boogie, man. Yeah, I know. It's, man. They they the real life my stars. Yeah, like, for real. Yeah, so I just and we don't I have just to, wanted to. It was pretty much rhetorical for me. Yeah, but yeah, I just wanted yeah, to ask yeah, you a question. Yeah. I want the Bucks to win it so like bad, that. but I got the Warriors probably. They the but monsters, and I think I think uh, I think Toronto can get them a run for their money. That's just me because I think they got the personnel to defensively that can kind of. Who gonna stop Kirk Curry? Uh, I will put I will put Dan, I will put Danny Green on him because Danny Green like to run around and I yeah. let Kyle Lowry check. Clay, I don't think Danny Green's endurance is enough for Curry. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Man, he and then you got, Kev, you got Kevin Durant. Kawhi Leonard can check Kevin Durant. Then you got Serge that can go with yeah. uh, Draymond. And then you got Mark that can go with Boogie. So Draymond's just, faster. Matt, who's gonna, who gonna check Clay? Like I said, it's gonna have to be Kyle Lowry. It's have to be Kyle Lowry. But Good you got the young guy. Yeah, but can Kyle Lowry win a championship for you by itself? Hell no. Nah. No, I mean he got Kawhi. Nah. I mean, he's so consistent. I mean, thirty sorry, point game, versus, five come. point game, fifteen point game, six point I'm game. That's a large matchup wise. Pretty much, it's not even, but it's real close. But it all depends on what which one of them players is gonna be strong enough. To if if I, would let, to be. I would let, I would let, uh, I really would let Lowry just stick on um, Curry because he's a bigger guy. 
Yeah, you gotta play him more physical. physical. Yeah, yeah. Physical. And Lowry yeah, is capable of playing have, physical. You got but, Danny Green. But then again, you can't. You give you give Curry any type of space. You gonna shoot that bitch. Yeah. Listen, your your only right. chance at beating Golden State is making Clay Thompson. Um, we don't gotta beat you. No, making Iggy beat you. No, I think if. If Raptors win, it's because of their chemistry. That's the only way. Yeah. Man, I don't see that because they just it got ain't together. Gonna happen, no. I don't see that. Yeah. Mark, mark, mark that key, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but I, I just don't see it being ready worse. To win. I but think that was a perfect situation. It was, but so. again, the chemistry got to be there for them to beat Warriors, and they just got together. I don't see it. I don't I see think it happening. If, if by some miracle the Celtics make it to the finals, I think they'll give them more of a run for their money than any of those teams, in my opinion. I can see that. If the Celtics get their shit together and they make it to the finals, I think yeah. they give them a better run for their money. I can see that. I feel like Steph Curry is intimidated by Kyrie. Of course. Uh, yeah, I get and Kyrie that. Got, Kyrie still got that hunger and he got the, the yeah. finals experience. And then you got all them other young, long players that can, not saying they can compete with the Kevin Durant and all that, but they can yeah, match up need, with him. You need a Kawhi Leonard on Kevin Durant. You do. That's very true. He gonna get like eight. the Horford and Cousins matchup. So they play different. Tatum gonna get, I don't see how that would work. Gonna get cooked by Kevin Durant. <laughs> man. <laughs> they don't work and want to fucking retire after that, man. For real. Yeah, what was it? I mean, Gordon Hayward gonna get yeah. cooked. <laughs> But he's slow as shit. Now. So Boogie gonna be bullying the whole oh, old oh, man. I don't think so. I don't think he's gonna play his distance and play that distance. Boogie and game. I don't think Boogie gonna be playing no defense like that. He, he got to go step up. To. He got nah. I don't know. Horford can knock down that that, that outside shot now. Yeah, he can. And Kyrie be setting him up yeah, so man. nice. So that 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 wraps That's up. Yeah, that wraps up. Uh, it's gonna be interesting, man. Yeah, second half NBA season, corporate like entertainment. You Word already, Manny you smashed already the know. Button. <laughs> you already know. Facts. You already know. It's the movement, man. Y'all fuck with us. Yeah, Thanks we for tuning in. We appreciate the subscribers. We appreciate the likes. Keep subscribing. Keep, keep, keep subscribing. Yeah. And keep tuning in. We're going to keep continuing to bring great content. Yep. And again, we appreciate y'all. Thank you. Yeah, don't jump on that bandwagon. You need to iron on that shit. <laughs> fuck all that shit. You fuck with us now, you fuck with us later. <laughs> Bitch.